Hello everyone! I'm Teacher Verlet, your teacher in science. Are you ready to learn more excitement topic about science? Come, hurry and join us. Enjoy watching our video. Before we start our lesson, here are virtual class rules. First, find a silent place so that you can focus our lesson. Second, watch and listen carefully. Our topic for today is about electromagnet. The objective of this lesson is you are expected to infer that electricity can be used to produce magnets. Make an electromagnet and design an experiment to determine the factors that affect the strength of electromagnet. Let's have a review. You have learned from your previous lesson about the component sub-circuit. Before we go through, answer the following. Match column A with column B. Write the letter of the correct answer. Column A. Number 1. Dry cell. Number 2. Conductor. Number 3. Light bulb. Number 4. Complete circuit. Number 5. Electric circuit. Column B. Letter A. Path taking back electric current. B. A path where electricity flows from the source and back. Letter C. The copper wire where the current flow. Letter D. Contains materials that allows chemical reaction. It is also called battery. Letter E. The device that uses current. Choose your answers now. Now, let us check your work. Here are the key to correction. Number 1, letter D. Number 2, letter C. Number 3, letter E. Number 4, letter B. Number 5, letter A. If your answer is like this, then, very good class, you did a great job. I have here an illustration. What do you observe on the illustration? Alright, when the battery is on or has a power of electricity, the pins are stick to the nail with copper wire that connected to a battery. And when the battery has no power, the paper clip or pins are not moving towards nail. Why the pins are stick to the nail if the battery has power of electricity? Alright. It is because the electricity that flow in the coil wire around the nail. A nail is not a magnet, but it can be turned into one by coiling a copper wire around it and then letting electricity flow through it. Doing this nail turns in an electromagnet. This illustration is what we call the simple electromagnet. I have here vocabulary words that will help you to understand what is an electromagnet is. First word is electromagnetism. Second word, magnetic field. And third word, dry cell or battery. Let's find out what are the meaning of these words. What is electromagnetism? It is the study of relationship of electricity to magnetic. This showed that there is a magnetic field around the wire carrying electricity. Now, let's go to the second word, magnetic field. Magnetic field, when ele electric current flow, and it can be made stronger by sliding a piece of soft iron into the coiled wire. This soft iron builds up lines of forces and produces an electron flow through the coil wire to become an electromagnet. 
Now let's go to the last vocabulary word, dry cell or battery. Dry cell or battery is the source of electricity. Now, let's find out what is an electromagnet. Electromagnets are temporary magnets formed when electricity current flow through the wire. Without electricity, it loses the magnetism. Based on this illustration, the nail is the core. The wire is coiled around the core. The electric current is supplied by a dry cell. Placing some pins near the electromagnet will attract the pins. When disconnecting one end of the wire from the dry cell, no current will flow and the pins are not attracted. If the circuit is closed, pins will be attracted due to magnetic force while there is a current flow. How to make an electric magnet stronger? By using more coils of wire, each turn of the wire adds more force to electromagnet. The number of dry cell also affects the strength of an electromagnet. More dry cells means more electrons flowing in the electromagnet and therefore stronger magnetism is produced. The size of the iron core also matters. The greater the size of an iron core, the stronger magnetism an electromagnet has. How electromagnet used in our society? Here are the uses of electromagnet. Many appliances, modern gadgets, and even toys are made of electromagnets. Electromagnets are used in transmitting signals through telephones, radios, and televisions. Commercial establishment make use of generators, transformers, and motors which are made of electromagnets. A crane that lifts heavy object is also made of electromagnet. Remember class, electrical energy is limited. We have to learn how to conserve it. Now, let's have an activity. Write the word true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Number one, the electromagnet may be produced by making electricity flow through a coil of wire wound around the iron nail. Number two, when electricity stops flowing through a coil of wire, the nail continues attracting any metals or magnetic materials. Number three, an electromagnet can be made stronger by using less coils of wire. Number four, the number of dry cells used affects the magnetism on an electromagnet. More dry cell means less magnetism. And number five, electromagnets are permanent magnets that can attract any metal or magnetic materials. Now, let us check your work. Number one, the answer is true. Number two, false. Number three, false. Number four, false. Number five, false. If your answer is like this, very good class, you did a great job. Remember class, an electromagnet is a temporary magnet that may be produced by making electricity flow through a wire coiled around an iron nail. Electromagnets are used in appliances, modern gadgets, toys, telephones, generators, and transformer. I hope you learned something about our lesson. Goodbye! Have a great day! See you next time!